Baltimore is one of the weirdest places on earth. It's truly bizarre. And I grew up in I grew up in Greektown, which is like a fully isolated like little neighborhood that's like that's like all Greek people. And, but it's like it's bordered by the most trash you've ever seen in your life. Like it's totally like, yeah, you have like Baltimore white trash, which is a beautiful blend of white. These trash. are yeah. the people who wear the the, the camo. Ra- ra- yes, ra- dude. Camo. Oh yeah, baby, the fucking ravings. <laughs> Let's fucking go. Those fucking guys, the guys that are like, yeah, Lamar's good, but. Something about Flacco that I miss. I can't, <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah. there was something I trusted more about Flacco. Like those fucking guys. Yeah. Traditionally. Yeah, yeah, there was something about him, just a pocket passer. <laughs> this guy's a fucking running back that we're going to let him throw the fucking ball. Like those guys. Yeah. Um, uh, very. F- I love those guys. Those, those, those pants are my favorite thing in sports. Uh, yeah. The purple camo is unbelievable. It's, and I, I don't think that they were the only team that got them. I think that was one of the like NFL initiatives of like the mid-2000s. Yes. We're like okay, our, our merch idea this year because it was like right during the Iraq War. It was yeah, like yeah, big, yeah, big yeah, let's yeah, go USA so stuff. And they're yeah, like, okay, yeah. we're gonna put out every team's colors yep. in camo shorts. And every other fan base was like, yo, these suck, these stink. And then Baltimore was like, fuck yeah, Baltimore was like, oh, these look pretty good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm about to wear these to my child support hearing after this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we won. Ray won this one. I'm about to keep these for good luck. And that bitch ain't getting a dime of my money. <laughs> like that's. <laughs> I love those guys. A bunch of those guys were all like. Oh my God! They were so funny. There was like counter protests in Baltimore going on when Ray Rice got suspended, which is like, <laughs> is there a more w- completely open and shut fuck this guy <laughs> thing we've ever seen in our lives? And these guys were all like, this is fucking bullshit. You know? put Ray back on the fucking field. It was like, I had yo, I had a cousin that worked over there at that elevator. Shit didn't go down the way you think it was going <laughs> down, yo. <laughs> Yeah, y'all believe anything the fucking media wants to tell you, yo. Like, it's so funny. These fucking idiots. I worked at a law firm, and it, this is my, one of my jobs before I moved to New York because I needed to save up money um, was I, were, I was a paralegal, and I didn't know what the law firm was, and it was like this trashy, like, Baltimore, like, fucking suburb yeah. uh, fucking office. And I realized pretty quickly that it was a foreclosure law firm. And they were taking people's houses. And I was like, well, I don't want to be a part of this. Like, yeah, this, is a- this is after the like, this is after the housing crisis, which is like people were tricked into selling. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. I did. I was, yeah. I was working directly <laughs> yeah, with yeah, 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 collateralized yeah, yeah. loans and all that shit. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like six months into working, I've seen on CNBC like collateralized de- debt is the problem. I was like, oh, fuck. yeah, 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 that's yikes. what I do. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 and yeah. I do poorly. <laughs> no, that, yeah, that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Big time. You know, um, <laughs> I, I got there and I was like, well, I don't want to fucking work for these people. And I was like, well, I'll just like stop working and like I'm sure they'll fire me in like three or four weeks, whatever, by the time they figure it out. And I was just like, in the meantime, I'm going to go on two hour lunches. I'm going to be the fucking, you know, the life of the office. Yeah, I'm just yeah, shooting yeah. this shit with everyone. Everyone loved me because I'm not doing work. It's office I'm, space. I'm going you're around. The guy, you're the joke out. guy. Yeah, you're yeah. the cool guy. And it took them literally like six months to fire me. And I just literally not, you're not doing anything. I was not doing. This is when I was starting stand up. Like I was pretty early on in my career. I was like doing open mics. I'm just writing shit. My boss would come by. I would hit the like mouse yep. to get the screensaver. But I was lo- I wasn't logged in, <laughs> so it would just be like oh, my boss would come in. It would just be like <laughs> the, login. the login screen. <laughs> like it was. I was like I was literally playing like on my cell phone. I was and it was like I wasn't. In, I didn't have an office. I had cubicles out in the open. It was so completely disrespectful. I was begging to get fired, and they just wouldn't do yeah. it. Pushing when you're playing blackjack or any cards or whatever. A push is the worst. Yeah. Because you feel nothing. Yeah, it'll make me lose. Yeah. Make At least me, take my fucking money yeah, make me feel like yeah, shit. Spit in my fucking mouth. <laughs> Call me a fucking slut. You know what I mean? It's like, that's the That'd equivalent. Be a good casino. Yeah. Every time you lose, <laughs> fucking bitch. Take your money away, you fucking little slut. Yeah. You little yeah. bitch boy. It'd become, a, it'd become a BDSM thing. Absolutely. Tie you up and hit you. Instead that, of the girl that comes around with like drinks and cigarettes, she's like, you want to be whipped? You're like, yeah, hit the fuck yeah, out yeah, of me yeah, yeah, while yeah. I lose this hand. I'm, why are you hitting on 19? Just let me fucking Just do it. Tell me my dad's not proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> the whole fucking nine, So you're not bro. doing the Bitcoin, the NFTs, none of that stuff? All that is bullshit. Okay. If you're a fucking dumb bitch if you have any of that. <laughs> and I want to be very clear about that. You hear that, Ma? Yeah. <laughs> like gambling, it's like, it's never going to get like that for me. The way like drugs even. It's like, I like drugs, but I'm never, I could me quit. Too. Anything cool. I could quit, like, fucking... Booze is so easy. Like, weed is a lot harder for me. It's it's weed, food, and trying to get my little dick sucked. Those are the three things that I'm just... In like, that order. 
No, no, I think it would go food, pussy, weed, and, and food, pussy, weed. Food is the f destroyer for me, dude. Food it's is way like, bigger than pussy. For it's you. Uh, absolutely. But food and pussy together has that been a thing? Love nothing better <laughs> than getting fucking sucked off. The Uber, <laughs> she's in the Uber. There's a fucking half a cheesesteak waiting for me, brother. And I got a fucking ice cream cone in the fridge that got special, you know? That's all you're really thinking about. It's like this, the moment I bust, that's all I'm thinking about. Cheesesteak. It's like, it's like the second the evil, the poison is out of my body, mm -hmm. I'm thinking, let's put a different kind of poison in. <laughs> <laughs> one goes out, one goes in. We'd formally like to invite you to a case race in a, in a future time. A future time I can do. Yeah, we do we do case races on this show. I, I'll do it. Yeah, Shane Gillis is doing the next one with us. Oh, Shane will fucking destroy me. He's a fucking tank. But well, it's teams of two. Okay, nice. I'm a, I'm gonna get in there though. I'll get back into my my drinking shape. Yeah, you, you guzzle beers. I bat. I used to. Yeah. I'm not. I'm more of a weed guy these days. Oh really? More of a weed and dick pills guy these days. <laughs> that's, 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 that's my, that's oh, my Lamar Odom. Voice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not a Lamar Odom. Oh, yeah, yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm see if I can stop my heart. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there have been some close calls. <laughs> <laughs> like, am I about to die in a fucking Holiday Inn Express in Tampa? Because <laughs> I, I wanted to fuck a. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I have to get into exactly who it was. But uh, all right. We'll try fucking old lady in Tampa, but that's a story for a different. It didn't work, unfortunately. What do you mean? Your dick didn't work, or fucking? No, no, she wouldn't come back to the to yeah the hotel. We oh. made out on a bench though. <laughs> it was that's cool. fire. That yeah, was cool. Damn. Did you get a handsy at all? Uh, a little bit. Um, and how old is old? Don't say thirty-five. Don't say thirty-five. No, no, no. no. Okay. Come on. She was she was early sixties. Okay, ah. mid sixties maybe. It's pretty old. Here's the thing. She was old. No, she was old. Bro, believe me, brother. <laughs> she was, like, I'll put it this way. After we made out, on the way back, my mouth was numb, and I'm pretty sure it was from, like, denture cream. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> glue. You're just hot off her denture glue. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. How about her? Yeah. What was her body type? What was her? Uh, was she was, loose? She was slim, <laughs> but I will say. Hips intact? Hips intact. There was I didn't I didn't feel a screw. I didn't feel any <laughs> aluminum reinforcing it. But I will say I did get a little handsy and there was like where you'd expect firmness, there was a sliding situation. Even though it was just skin. I was like, oh interesting. This is a different And I was just like I was like open I wasn't headlining or anything. I was opening for Bob Bobby Kelly, my guy, he's the funniest guy in the world. He was he he would like let me open for him and he had some friends in town we'd usually just like hang out and like you know get food afterwards but he had some friends in tampa and i was like left to, to my own devices that evening and this there was like just during the show there was just some fucking idiot that was ruining the show just being like woo ha like yelling out it was so annoying and it was that lady <laughs> it what was, oh no and then she like her friends left her and she was just alone on a park bench and i was just talking to her and i was just like literally just killing time until the uber came and, but the Uber got lost and it was like he was spinning around it was like 13 minutes so I'm like really chatting up with this woman and that, that in a, and she started giving me like the look that like you know a girl gives you when she wants you to kiss her and then right. I was like oh I was like not every old woman is a grandma like, yeah. like some of them some of them, it's like sometimes whores just get old <laughs> 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 so then, then like, 